Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well and welcome to Valonia. This is version 1.1 of the track. I'll put a link in the description below. I've been working on the RW now for a couple of weeks for this circuit. So we're going to do an 8 lap race here today in the GT3s. I'm in the Porsche this time. Um, we'll have a little bit of chat about the circuit and some of the stuff I've done for the RW work. Uh, and let's have some fun. Get this underway. Let's see if we can make up some spots at the start. A bit of jostling there. The Clarence been knocked down a spot. So one of the first things I did uh, when I had a look at the track was to sort out the garage spots. So one of the issues you've got with the GT or some of the GT3 cars is that they're quite long wheelbase and they have a large turning circle. So particularly the Bentley and the uh, Mes Bentley Mercedes and the Corvette were having issues at some of the spots getting out of the garage that actually hit the pit wall. Um, so I moved the garage spots over to the uh, left hand side a little bit further so it gave them more turning room to get out. So they can do that now without um, actually getting damaged before even exiting the pits. Oh, everyone's gone wide there. Uh, so then I've created a new fastest, a new blocking as you can see some of the cars are taking. Um, and um, I've also created a wet line for this track as well. Uh, all with new pit entries and exits as well. Um, the, the, my aim with the wet line, um, I've got it slightly on the inside of the fastest line, so it's off the rubber, um, the rubbering surface. But um, once a wet track dries out, I'm hoping that it will um, gradually spread across the fastest line as well because they're quite close together. They've got different, um, they've got different. Uh, corner entries and exits as you'd expect for a wet circuit um, compared to a dry circuit so hopefully it's quite realistic for everybody <coughs> as you can see these guys are all quite competitive with each other too now and uh, with me so in qualifying the GT3s we're ducking into the 133s oh, I've got them set to 108 I should say that 108 um, oh, looks like old mate nearly had enough then Sleep in the corner there. So I've tried to um, I've tried to put a couple of um, corridor constraints in as well, um, but uh, not too many so that it doesn't mess up the actual competitiveness of the AI. So I've live I've basically left them alone to do their own thing through most of the circuit. But there's a chicane at the back here that was causing problems. So as we come up to explain what I've done, oh, oh they're all having to go through wide. So from the exit of this corner, I've forced the guys, hopefully with the corridor, to basically head into single file. There is a broccoli line here too, though. Um, just so they can kind of make it through here and then I've eased that line off as they come out of the chicane. There's a blocking line he's just trying to take there. Oh, he's going to force all mate out. And then the other constraint that I've put in is basically the second corner here. So you've got the first bend just here. Um, and I did this particularly for um, the starts. So I've constrained them down to single file through that corner only. Um, what was happening was they'd try and make it through there three or four wide at the start of a race and um, basically it just oh, whoa three or four wide through there and it uh, it would basically end the race before it even started now as I say it again <laughs> my AOW or rather AI is set pretty high so they will have a um, they'll have a crack at each other they're also set to make mistakes as well oh, oh, oh. Rubbing is racing. <coughs> so we can get past this old 650S. Okay, up to 12th. So I'll probably, uh, I'll probably, 
well I will, I'll put the link up to the new update package for this track and uh, I'm also going to put up a link for um, Racer Factors Monaco, so 1.82 I've created an AIW file for that track, I've still got a couple little things to do with it um, I want um, the GT3s there and the GTEs to be a little bit more competitive so far what I've fixed is i managed to get every single GT3 uh, except the Corvette through the hairpin at Monaco um, the, the Corvette's turning circle is just too wide so if you are going to race it there when I release it I'd, I'd suggest, or rather the GT3s I'd suggest not racing the Corvette there because it just can't make it through the um, it can't make it through the hairpin I've also fixed them um, the, cor the exit to pits as well Whoa. Hmm. maybe I have to put a corridor in there <laughs> so the other thing I've fixed at Monaco is the exit of the pits the cars would sometimes impact the pit wall and uh, I've also fixed the uh, chicane at swimming pool as well so they don't hit the wall anymore I don't think I'll bother with a wet line there I don't think too many people would uh, enjoy racing at Monaco in the rain We've got to get past this guy. Oh, he's got the blocking line on me. So there you go. So there's one of the other blocking lines I've got in. Oh. And then he's gone to the block. Yeah, he's gone to block there as well. Uh, I want to say sorry for not uploading um, as well. I've been having some real issues with my new build. Um, to the point where I basically took everything back into safe mode ran uh, display driver uh, uninstaller and just went back to bare install um, it was uh, the new card was just micro locking and, and giving me lag I could, I, there's no way I couldn't, I couldn't um, record this video yesterday um, it's been a real pain that's what you get for changing being an early adopter so it's a 5700 XT that I'm having issues with, but seems to be alright at the moment, touch wood. Okay, come on, we can get him, we can get him. Oh, he's moving over. Oh, oh I'm running wide, sorry mate. <coughs> oh no, I let the Audi through as well. Oh, old mate's made a mistake. Still love this Porsche. It's come to block. So hopefully you guys can see that it's actually a little bit more um, fun to race here. The cars do attempt to pass you and also block. Stay wide of him there. Got to say too, I'm loving driving the uh, the new 911 Porsche Cup car. That's an absolutely brilliant car. Uh, I've had a few more runs since my uh, Claudio Vietes video. Um, had a crack at uh, Ibarra. Um, pretty difficult car to drive there. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, that did not go well. Yeah, the Porsche is a very difficult car to drive at a barra. Some quite high speed um, corners that put the car kind of uh, off weight. The uh, odd transfer of weight on the car itself. Well, obviously the uh, the Porsche Cup car is quite, um, quite stiff and being rear-engined. Uh, once it starts to rotate, it really wants to let go. Can I get past Porsche? Porsche and Porsche. Yep. Okay, so we're up to ninth. Because I'll make rolled. Can we get past another McLaren? Oh. 
come on, come on, come on. Can we get him down the pit wall? Yep. Silly. Got him though. Come on. These guys are having to go at each other. A sneak pass. Three wide. No, no, not three wide. Um, for the circuit itself, I think there's a little bit of optimization that needs to be done. I've noticed some um, quite uh, quite heavy frame drops or a little bit of a little bit of lag um, as you come around that chicane. You see the the grandstands and the pits. So I'm wondering if there's some um, some polys that don't need to be there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Last lap, let's get past. Side by side through turn two. He's backed off. And I nearly killed myself. Oh, I think I forced him off. Uh, the other thing too, I'd, I'd recommend everybody go and grab the um, the sound uh, update 1.3. I'll put a link to that in the description too. It's uh, basically just some tweaks to your player.json file. Um, and it, uh, it lets you hear just a little bit better certain things that are going on with the car so you get a little bit more tire noise you get a little bit more um, uh, air flow uh, noise at high speed I think somebody just had a bit of a bump then probably having a fight behind me so I'll pop a link to that too because I think it's great work anything that uh, somebody else creates that Adds it just a little bit extra to the sim, I think is excellent. Come on, Porsche. Sideways. Okay guys, well, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and I'll be sure to upload more content soon. Thanks everyone. Bye.